Time for the Cape Quickcast, checking stories, making news as you head out the door. Two fires broke out overnight in Wichita, and one of them left a garage on South Pinecrest in ruins. The other may have left a house a total loss, but no residents were hurt. That fire happened around 930 last night on South Green Street near East High School. About three-fourths of the home was in flames when firefighters arrived. It's not yet clear how this fire started, but a battalion chief told us a family pet may have noticed it first. Their dog was making a whole bunch of racket in the front of the house, and then the adult smelled smoke, opened the door, and saw fire to the front of the house. The residents got out through a back door. Yeah, but their dog did die mm -hmm. in the fire, but first alerted the family. So mm -hmm. thank goodness everybody else is okay. Also making news this Wednesday, we're live at Sedgwick County Park as the county commission will talk today about new park rules. It would raise uh, rents for shelters, and in one case, the charge for a day would almost triple. There also would be specific rules for guns in county parks. A Sedgwick County jury resumes deliberations today in the trial of Daniel Perez. The local commune leader is accused of killing a woman in 2003. New numbers show whooping cough cases have doubled in Kansas in a week. Now at 24 total, more than half of those cases are now in Sedgwick County. U.S. intelligence agents are focusing on one recent ISIS video. This man, a masked man, speaks with a distinctly American tone of voice. There's speculation ISIS could have recruited him from this country. The defense is calling witnesses in the killing of American sniper author Chris Kyle. The jury received this view of Eddie Ray Ralph in a police car. Shortly after his arrest, Ralph's mother testified that he asked Kyle for help with her son. The Aaron Hernandez murder trial has resumed in New England after several days of snow delays. Defense attorneys got a police officer to admit his description of the scene was not 100% accurate. About 100 teens tried to storm a theater near Orlando to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. They were denied tickets because the movie is rated R. The mall, where it all happened, now plans to bar teens after dark if they're not accompanied by an adult.